We begin our time of prayer this morning. If you have any prayer requests, please add them to the chat features on Zoom. I don't think Facebook is working, but, um, or you can also send them to prayer at parkhillchurch.org. This morning, I want you to just sit and imagine a tongue over your head. Maybe they look like these, a tongue of fire. Let that spirit fill your soul this morning. Breathe it in. And breathe out. This morning we begin with our joys. Our joys of listening to the children play instruments last week during worship. The joy of graduation traditions and celebrations old and new. The beautiful spring flowers as we walk through our neighborhoods, for friends who have been able to gather, laughing and enjoying one another's company after so long, for Matthew, who is home for the summer from college and is working. Hello, Matthew. Welcome back. And we are so joyful that the lawsuit filed against Park Hill Methodist Church has been dismissed. And so for all of these joys, we say, God, hear our prayers. This morning, we continue to pray for Eileen and Bill as they grieve the death of their friend, Steve Cruz, and for his family and friends as they grieve. This morning, we pray for Esther as she has eye surgery this week. And we pray for Sally, who, and Sally, we pray for her and her sister, Retta, and Retta's husband, all who will be having surgery within the next 10 days. For these prayers, we say, God, hear our prayers. Now let us take a moment and pray in silence those prayers right now that are being formed by the Holy Spirit that are still deep inside our souls that remain unspoken, but knowing that God hears us in our silence. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your empowering power for uniting us all. And now let us continue into our t- with our time of prayer into a time of singing and our time of communion. <laughs> 